Hello, everyone. Welcome to Confidently Allowing with yours truly, Aleli Carissa. So these are raw, unedited, bite-sized videos dropping daily from Monday to Friday here on our YouTube channel, Empowerment Life Coaching Online. So <laughs> this is the second episode. And today I'll be talking about how to manifest anything you want with ease. I'm just checking if I'm recording because I will be downloading this video. Good, good, good. <laughs> Again, these are raw and unedited videos. I'm recording myself and then dropping them daily on YouTube. Um, I'll be talking about a wide range of topics. And today's topic, I know this topic is big. How to manifest anything you want with ease. First of all, if you don't believe in woo-woo and all things spirituality, this series is not for you. But if you're like me, who is an energy healing and personal development junkie, who gets excited, really, really excited. I get really, really excited when it comes to co-creating with the universe and learning with the, um, with the angels and my spirit guides and my mentors and coaches, learning the spiritual laws. And if you're serious and committed in investing in yourself and learning more and more on how to really heal yourself and align with the laws of the universe and discover your life purpose and how to love yourself more deeply, how to love yourself more and more and grow and transcend higher and higher and spiritually evolve as you unleash your fullest potential and transform into a new highest version of you, then I'm sure you'll get the benefits of this, of watching this series in this particular episode and in really embodying the teachings that I will be sharing. All right? So I hope that you get the most benefits, the maximum benefits by devoting this exclusive time for you for gaining divine wisdom. So I am committing myself to motivate you day by day. Again, videos dropping daily. So excerpts of all the things that I've been learning, all the things that I've been teaching, and any um, self-reflective insights, that I'm channeling. I'm here to give you positive healing energies and positive reinforcements. And I'll be sharing golden nuggets of divine wisdom coming from what I have been learning from all of my wonderful teachers, mentors, coaches, from books, my favorite authors, from my favorite oracle card creators, from my own students, from my own clients, my own friends, sisters, brothers, and from my own personal experiences, of course, to help you and nurture you and support you in co-creating with the universe with confidence, with ease, and with fun, and with grace, and with glory. All right? So, first, I'd like to remind everyone that we are still giving away these goodies. So, I created a free decade planner for you guys. So I have self-reflective questions there. I also have a monthly calendar there with inspiring quotable quotes. I also created a monthly planner for you guys to help you on your um, weekly tasks to do's. And of course, the you and your highest vision workbook 
2023 Visioning Workbook. So it's still the first quarter of 2023. And again, I've created this to help you release what is no longer serving you so that you can usher in the love month, the new year and beyond with so much grace, with so much clarity and so much love in your heart. So please take some time for self-reflective journaling. And again, I'm aiming to help you in your own journey, in your own self-love journey to self-mastery. So of course, I would love for you to book a session with me, but with or without me, I'm giving you these so that you can spend some time with your soul. All right, so please be a part of our mailing list and you'll get access to um, these downloads, to free meditations, well-being webinars. Last December, we did a live workshop, a three-day workshop, and of course, special offers. So the link is bit.ly slash ELC dash mail. I'll also make sure to include this link in the description of this video. So last episode, our first ever episode, I talked about how to keep the faith when you seem to not be getting what you want. What do you do when you're not manifesting? And if you have not yet watched that video, please do so. I'm here to keep on reminding you to believe that anything is possible. You just have to shift your focus, shift your mindset. And it's all about really paradigm shifting, reality transurfing. What you focus on grows. So focus on the positive and be really grateful and appreciative of all your blessings. And I want you to believe in miracles. I'm here to remind you day by day that miracles are natural. And there's a reason why you found yourself now watching this video and watching with me. So I just finished my Facebook Live a while ago um, on our Empowered Women's Club private support group. That's where I really share my journey. I'm, I become more vulnerable there, of course. It's a more exclusive group with um, like-minded women. So earlier, I was sharing my mistake of how um, I have this distorted point of view of love and how I feel that love should be a struggle, that love should be hard, that love hurts. And how I was able to um, turn that 360 degree turn. And really, it, 2022 was a pivotal year for me. So if you want to be part of Empowered Women's Club, I'll make sure to include the link also in the description. It is bit.ly slash EWC dash register. Bit.ly slash ewc dash register all right so if you want support from me weekly that's where i become more vulnerable i do group coaching from mistakes to mastery um guiding you in your own journey to self-mastery i've made all the mistakes so you don't have to do it and i also have a monthly webinar entitled Manifest Your Best Life. And we also do other group well-being workshops there, like A Course in Miracles with Tita Isa and Soul Suit Sessions with my dear goddess sister, Faye, and many, many, many more. All right. We also have a virtual lounge library. So if you're interested, let me know or do check out the link below. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to put in the description. I'm new on YouTube. So thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. So why are you here now? You're being guided to believe. You're being guided to be more open, to be available to receiving. And how do you do that? How do you receive? How do you manifest anything that you want? All you got to do is that you have to release the resistance you have to release all the struggle in receiving 
That is how we manifest anything that we want, really. I'll repeat what I just said. If you're willing to release resistance and you really believe that it is your birthright to be happy and abundant, it's your natural essence without all the contamination, without all the toxic energies that we have to cleanse, without all the limiting beliefs and negative programming. Your birthright is happiness and abundance and love. Your natural essence is love. Your natural state is the state of well-being. So that's why we have disease. It's because of all of these things that are not really you. So we just really need to cleanse. Your natural essence is love and joy and well-being. If you really believe that and you're willing to release all the gunk, all the resistance, all the contaminated parts of you, then you can manifest anything you want. Why? Because if you release all the contaminated part of you, then you're left with what's pure. You're left with your natural, pure essence, who is always connected to spirit, always connected to creator, being connected to creator, part of creator, one with creator. Then you can create anything, right? Absolutely everything that you have ever imagined and dreamed about. A loving relationship with your most compatible divine life soulmate. The successful career of your dreams. The business that will give you really immeasurable worth and value and profit that can help you uplift and elevate your people, your loved ones. The successful career of your dreams wherein you're just really happy and loving what you do. More money, 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 money coming into your space. More travels and trips abroad the beautiful face strong body that you love nurturing and loving and encouraging friends who you absolutely adore anything that you want what else do you want a supportive healing community a healing tribe more peace of mind and bliss whatever you want you can create all of this in your reality in releasing resistance it is very important to let go of the struggle. Make it easy. Allow it to be easy. Why are you making it so hard? And I even ask myself that. Aleli, why are you making it so hard? Allow it to be easy. Destroy and create all the stories that you tell yourself that it has to be hard. Because it doesn't. It doesn't have to be hard. Really allow abundance and love and success into your life with fun, with ease, with grace and joy and really release the limiting beliefs that I have to struggle to receive more or I don't deserve this. Am I receiving too much? Maybe this is too much. Because if you believe that, then you reject the truth. You reject what is what God is really trying to give you. I mean... Do you really have to struggle to receive? Do you have to experience all the struggle to be happy? Do you really have to work so freaking hard to be successful? Do you have to be really sick? Do you have to be really poor? Remember, God is rich. God is wealthy. God is abundant. God is not poor. And if you're always connected to creator, then why are you poor? It's only because of your mindset, of the limits that you're imposing to yourself? What if you're just creating your own battle? What if you created your own struggle and it's all in your head? What if the fight or the battle or the struggle was never real? What, is, what if all of these struggle, these are all illusions? What if the struggle was never required? What if the outside battle that you're facing is actually a reflection of the internal battle inside you and you just have to fix your internal battle and it all comes with a decision. And it can be quick as making a decision, as quick as this. 
maybe you choose to believe you have to go through all the suffering, all the punishment, all the hardships, the constant struggle of up and down in your finances, the struggle in your business, in your career, with your relationships, in finding the perfect clients, the perfect job, in order for you to grow and up-level or be more proactive in your life. What are you learning? Try to reflect. What are you learning from all these hardships and struggle? What if you can now finally move on because you have already learned the lessons and you no longer have to attract all of these negative experiences to learn the lessons over and over and over and over again? Really think about it. What is the secondary gain that you're getting with all of these struggles. Your subconscious mind is always trying to protect you. What are you protecting yourself from? How does this serve you? What are the values and virtues that you're learning? And are you ready, willing, and committed to release and learn so that you're no longer stuck and you can finally move forward? Why are you creating the struggle? Why? Is that the truth? Is that really the truth? Maybe you are getting sick or maybe you are complaining or whining to get attention, to get sympathy or to get love. Or is it to prove that you are strong, you're a strong woman, that you are really strong and independent as a woman or as a man? Or perhaps um, it helped you develop the resilience and the grit and the fire inside you or your disease may have been teaching you the importance of resting be really honest with yourself what is this struggle giving you what are you learning from all of these struggles and doing this belief work on hardships and struggle will always show some truths some hidden motivations about ourselves that we try to avoid seeing. And we got to shift our mindset. It's all about paradigm shifts and peeling off all the layers of our onion. I have been doing this. I have so many layers. I had, I still have some layers. <laughs> peeling off all layers of our onion, releasing the truths that are not yours, or can I say the lies? that are not yours, releasing the limiting beliefs that are not yours. The stories that you tell yourself that should be released, that you should let go of. And if you need help, you can book a one-on-one -on -one energy healing or empowerment coaching session with me. We can work it out together. You can enroll in all of my uh, certification courses. I mentioned all of my certification courses. You can choose. Um, we will work it out together. We will fix it out together. And if not, then you have my daily videos here on Facebook. You can also join Empowered Women's Club to receive well-being support from not just me, but other well-being coaches. We're all Filipinas, by the way. We're all from the Philippines, but now I'm living in the UAE. So, and also, please do download the Visioning Workbook. You'll discover a lot about yourself when you do journaling. I believe in journal therapy. So yeah, I just, I'm here to remind you. I'm reminding you to remember, because you already know this, you just have to remember that it is your birthright to be happy and successful and abundant. It is your birthright. Please remember that. God is not poor. God is not miserable. If you're always connected to God, creator, then you are already successful. You're, you're already abundant. It is your birthright to be happy. Happiness is your birthright. And again, your natural essence is love. So allow yourself to receive more joy and more love and believe that it is done, it is done, it is done. And so it is. If it is for your highest good, it is done. And according to the law of pure potentiality, everything already exists in the spiritual realm. And you can actually collapse time. You can quantum jump to that future best version of you 
And I'll be talking about that in the coming days, maybe next week. And everything already exists. You just have to release the resistance in receiving. You just have to align with what you want and know that it's already there. You just have to open your heart, ask for what you really want. What, what is it that you really want? You really want it. And believe that you will receive and be willing and open and available to receive. Receive plenty. Not just enough, but plenty. And of course, you have to take the inspired action steps. How do you do that? You quiet your mind, you listen, because you cannot really uh, listen. You cannot receive messages if your mind is noisy, if you have that monkey mind. So just quiet, silence your mind, take inspired action steps, receive the messages, take the inspired action steps, and align, align with what you want, vibrate that. And you got to believe, you keep on believing with persistence, consistency, and faith, you'll get there. And always know and remember that your hopes and dreams are being fulfilled every step of the way. Things are always working out for you. And as you release the resistance, you're more open to miracles. And I always mention this in my workshops, in my classes and webinars. You got to add the very, very important ingredient of feeling. Feeling your wish fulfilled, according to Neville Goddard. Feeling is the secret. Really feel the feeling of living the end already. Feel it coming. Feel it in all of your 50 trillion cells. Because our cells are sending out signals to the universe based on our belief systems. And what you vibrate you attract. What you give out, you get back. That's the law of the universe. Believe that it's your natural birthright to be rich, to be happy, to be successful, to be loved, to be completely healed and healthy. You are one with the infinite riches of your subconscious mind. You are one with the love of the universe. You are the power of the sun, the moon, the stars, the fire, the waters, the oceans, and of life itself. You just got to believe in your own self-worth. When you're not manifesting something, that means you're not believing on your own self-worth. So work on your own self-worth. Believe that. You can keep on listening to positive reinforcements here on YouTube webinars like this, workshops, instill that, impress that in your subconscious mind until you really believe that you're worthy and that you deserve the very best. And I want you to really feel the feeling of spending such a wonderful time living the life of your dreams, being loved and nurtured by your loving partner, who is so handsome, so gorgeous, and so supportive and sweet and nurturing, if that is what you want. Or feel the feeling of living a purpose-filled life, a life full of meaning and alignment. Imagine living the life of your dreams and feel that. Imagine being able to fully utilize your unique skills and talents and divine soul gifts and multiple intelligences that are uniquely yours, and that you're being abundantly rewarded each and every single day, every step of the way, for all of these unique divine soul gifts that are inherently yours. So that's it for me. I hope you feel better and lighter after that. Thank you for sharing your time and divine precious energies with me. <laughs> again i'm here to motivate you to stop resisting stop resisting with life and start flowing and moving forward so that you don't remain stuck you can finally move forward with so much ease grace joy fun and love in your hearts may you always be open and available to miracles coming in and all the different ways in which love will come into your life. And I really wish that you observe and appreciate how love and abundance and joy, how love shows up for you every day. And love comes in so many forms, shapes, 
and sizes. Abundance comes in so many forms, ways, and sizes, and, and from all directions. All right. Have a wonderful day or evening, wherever you are. I send you so much love and light. I am looking forward to connecting with you again. So again, videos dropping daily, Mondays to Fridays. And may the sun bring you new energy by day. May the moon softly restore you by night. May the rain wash away all your worries. May the breeze blow new strength into your being. And may you walk gently through the earth and know its beauty all the days of your life. Love and light. Namaste. Thank you.